Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules. In this session, we will study these three words uh, of Al Qaeda and Nuraniya, page number 13. This slide is just a reminder for transliteration purposes. So, we are revisiting some of the principles that we have studied before. So the first one is um, we need to know the knowledge. We need to have the artic uh, knowledge of articulation points for each um, letter. The second one is we need to know the characteristics of each letter, a sifat of each letter. Uh, we have studied only a few of them so far, but we will study the rest in advanced level. The third one is um, the knowledge of rules, uh, rule or rules attached to individual letter because of its position in a word or words. Uh, the fourth one is um, exercising the tongue and a lot of repetition. So if we are given, for example, we are given a word and we have to apply these steps to make our uh, reading or recitation easy. So the first one is recognizing individual letter. So if we go to here, so individual, the first one is Arif, second one is Hamza, third one is Ba, and next one is Dal. And the final one is Alif. So we recognized individual letters. Step one. In step two, we recognize the harakat that are used. So the harakat would be, or the signs would be here. That's Fatha, Fatha, Fathatain. So we recognize the harakat. And the next one is we have to recognize uh, if. Uh, the letter letters uh, which letters are silent and which aren't uh, let's change the color okay blue. let's see so if you see here and if this is um, silent and uh, this one is not uh, bear is not silent dal is not silent and um, alif is silent so alif is silent hamza is not silent bear is not silent dal is not silent and alif is silent so we recognize those ones. And the next one is we apply the rules um, that attach to individual letter. We will study that in advanced level. Uh, apply the correct sifat. So we have studied only a few of them. One of them would be um, if the letter is heavy or light. So we apply that, those rules and the rest we will study in advanced level. Uh, the next one is pronouncing each letter from its correct makhraj articulation point. Uh, and the other one would we can add is um, we count how many syllables are there. Uh, for example, here is a one, ba two, den. So there are three syllables in this word. So if we uh, manage to uh, implement these steps correctly, uh, then our recit our reading and recitation will be uh, very easy. These are not fixed rules, uh, you can add or subtract to it. Uh, these are just general guidelines uh, for um, recitation or reading the Arabic. So the first word we have is Wahaba and it has three syllables. The first syllable is Waw Fatha Wa. Waw is not silent and Waw has Fatha and it is uh, a light letter. Waw Fatha Wa. Waw Fatha Wa. The second syllable we have is ha fatha ha. Ha is not silent, it has fatha and it is a light letter. Ha fatha ha. Ha fatha ha. So now we connect these two syllables and we have wa ha. Wa ha. Wa ha. Wa ha. The third syllable we have ba fatha ba. Ba is not silent, it has fatha and it is a light letter. Ba fatha ba, ba fatha ba. So now we connect these three syllables and we have wa ha ba, wa ha ba, wa ha ba, wa ha ba. So the next word we have is humazatin, and it has four syllables. The first syllable is ha dhamma hu. Ha is not silent; it has dhamma, and ha is a light letter. Ha dhamma hu. The second syllable is Meme Fatha Ma. Meme is not silent, it has Fatha, and Meme is a light letter. Meme Fatha Ma. Meme Fatha Ma. And now we connect these two uh, syllables and we have Huma. Huma. 
Huma, Huma. The third syllable we have is Za Fatha Za. Za is not silent, it has Fatha and it is a light letter. Za Fatha Za. Za Fatha Za. So now we connect these three syllables and we have Huma Za. Huma Za. Huma Za. Huma Za. The fourth syllable we have Ta Kasuratain Tin. Ta is, this here is written Ta Marbuta, but it's actually Ta. Uh, ta is not silent, it has kasratain uh, underneath and it is a light letter. Ta kasratain tin. So now we connect these four uh, syllables and we have Huma zatin. Huma zatin. Huma zatin. Huma zatin. So the next word is Hudan and it has two syllables. The first syllable is Hadumahu. Ha is not silent and it has dhamma and ha is a light letter. Ha dhamma hu. Ha dhamma hu. The second syllable is dal fathatain dan. So if you notice here, the ya here is silent. We only write dal fathatain dan. We pronounce it. We pronounce only dal fathatain dan. Ya is silent. And dal is a light letter. Dal fathatain dan. Dal fathatain dan. So now we connect these two and we have. Hudan, 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 Hudan. So the next three slides would be um, sounds only uh, with our spellings. Wahaba, 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 Wahaba. Huma zatin, Huma zatin, Huma zatin. Huma zatin Hudan 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 So this is the end of this session. Uh, in next session we will practice those three words ten times without explanation just to give you inner practice. We will see you in next session insha'Allah. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.